So hello and welcome to today's episode of Buddy Mysteries, where today we're going to be taking a different approach to the series, as today we're going to be taking a look at an ARG surrounding a mysterious online account and a tale surrounding the Bullworth Stalker. On the 13th of January 2019, a post was made to the Bully 2 subreddit by a walking pineapple about a suspicious new account called Bully 2 OSTs that was apparently uploading the leaked Bully 2 soundtrack, with titles and descriptions, such as Monty Oaks, Street Racer VR, alongside having descriptions like the developers wanted Happy Vault Asylum to have more of a Silent Hill vibe to it. However, this account was proven fake pretty quickly by some members who pointed out the music the person was uploading was either stock music or very obscure music, such as Pervy Perry and the Bido Larry being a song from 2006 that has barely 100 views on YouTube. Some people, however, still believe the account was real and made more posts to the Bully 2 subreddit about this person. Now, upon checking this account out for myself, everything just screamed fake. The music didn't sound anything like Rockstar Games, Woody Jackson or Sean Lee would usually produce, coupled with the fact this guy shazam the song and debunked it fully. Now, after seeing Pervy Perry and the Bido Larry and knowing all of these were fake, I subscribed and I'll get into why later. Now, all of these were normal until Bullworth News was uploaded on the 14th of January 2019 where the account took a rather strange turn. Now, this part is more of a personal story, but I was playing Gary's mod and while waiting for the downloads to finish before I could join the server, I noticed that Body 2 OSTs had uploaded a new video called Bullworth News. So I clicked it and while the track was just a stock news sound effect, aka the drama alert intro, as expected, I didn't think nothing of it and was just listening to the track to pass the time. After 30 seconds or so, however, the track went mute. Now, at first, I thought this might have been buffering because I was also downloading god knows how many files for Gary's mod, so I just left it. This was a big mistake because 30 seconds later a loud static TV effect played and I instantly jumped because I was not expecting it at all. So I'll tab Dave a little bit as a post edit here but while editing the video I did intend to play a snippet of the clip here. But while editing I did realise there were some very questionable frames that would appear for a split second that could possibly be gore. Of course these could also be scare frames where the video turns a scary red or whatever but because of the extremely low bitrate on the video it could look like gore. However, these exact frames kept popping up constantly throughout the video, so rather than risk getting a community guideline strike for gore, I think I'll just explain the whole video here. So please note, it's extremely edgy, and despite not being body related, you'll understand why after I've explained the video. The video begins with some 1950s looking woman on screen before the video turns a quick red. A message appears saying, on your knees our lord, then the woman leaves the screen to turn off a lamp. Just as she goes to turn the lamp off, a satanic image pops up alongside another message saying, on your knees to praise Lord Satan before smoke comes up for a few seconds. Now, after a few seconds, a picture of Adolf Hitler... <sighs> Fox. I'm sorry to break script here, but this is the level of edginess we're dealing with here. Satanism and Hitler. I'm fairly certain all this edge. Anyway, um, the smoke resumes for a short while, then it cuts to a monochrome video of what looks like a vent or something. It then cuts to a woman and her daughter before disorientating into a rather unsettling video of a man with a horse head playing a piano. Now this clip keeps looping while frames of gore and what I believe could be more World War II photos alongside other satanic images keep popping up. As the clip loops it seems to speed up and become even more disorientated before turning somewhat inverted. During this time loads of frames seem to be jump scares and more satanic images alongside the praise satan message from the beginning of the twist. After a while the video returns back to monochrome but maintains the insanely fast flurry of images of satanism, jump scares and this clip also keeps getting faster and faster and more disorientated. After this, however, the video becomes static before finishing on a black screen. So, after sitting there and watching this for an entire minute, I closed the tab and just flat out assumed the entire video was just a screamer and made a post on the Bully 2 subreddit about how any post claiming this guy's legitimacy in leaks will be removed, because, for some reason, some people still believe this account was genuine despite Shazam and stock music confirming it on day one of the account's appearance. But Reddit user BurnCastleWitch must have watched the whole thing and informed me of a pastebin link that flashed up on screen at the end of the video, with the title of It Lives. Now earlier I mentioned how I subscribed to this guy knowing it was fake, and this is why. After watching a lot of channels like Rainbot and Nightmare Expo and other horror related channels, I just knew this account would pull a similar move. I've seen this kind of stuff happen loads of times where a seemingly harmless account appears, posts normal material you wouldn't think anything wrong with it, until one day a video or pictures of theirs is incredibly creepy and has some weird message encoded into it beginning an ARG. Anyway, upon visiting the pastebin link, there was a list by the Bullworth Stalker and the status of the students of Bullworth. Now these being Russell, Johnny, Algernon, Gord, Hal, Christy, Petey, Damon and Zoe as being alive, Darby, Bucky and Kirby as missing, and Ted, Ernest, Tad, Gloria, Yuri and Trent as dead, and Angie is comatose and the whereabouts of Jimmy is unknown. 
and at the bottom there is binary, which when translated gives us the URL to a Twitter account of Bullworth Peter, who apparently set this account up in 2012 and never bothered to post anything, or even have any followers, until 2019. Well, they have four now, but when I first converted to binary they didn't have any followers at all. I'm actually confused at how that's even possible unless I had the account on private or something. Anyway, the first four tweets the account made were Jimmy, it's been over three days now, where are you? And a newspaper article about the apparent death of Wade Martin, and of course more tweets about Jimmy. The newspaper posted read, Another Bullworth student murdered by Bullworth Stalker by Tobias Renbarger. Bullworth Academy, Bullworth. As time goes on, the infamous Bullworth Stalker killings continue at Bullworth Academy and Bullworth are in a total state of lockdown and panic. Bleeding hell, how many times are we going to say Bullworth in this? Anyway, this time, another killing has happened on campus. Wade Martin, aged 16, was found dead on Bullworth grounds this morning at 6am and it's widely believed to be the Bullworth Stalker because there were signs of attempted scalping on his forehead. The Bullworth principal, Dr Ralph Harrelson, has just ordered prefects to be armed with batons and to stay up all night to find the Bullworth Stalker. All students are told to remain in curfew with no exceptions until the killer is caught. So we have our ARG beginning, and apparently the brief synopsis of the story is there's a serial killer going around Bullworth, and there seems to be utter chaos with mass student deaths, and of course Jimmy Hopkins is also missing. On January 15th, Pete, you know we might as well just call him that, you know going off the account name, uh, made some more tweets, one being a picture of a night sky. Now of course, as mentioned, I've watched enough Rainbow and Nightmare Expo to assume there might be some hidden image in this picture. Or, you know, some scary face or something like that when you brighten it up. But sadly, there was none. There's also one more tweet about missing Jimmy and how the supposed atmosphere around Bullworth is a lot more tense than usual. January 16th rolls around and Pete makes another tweet saying there's a scream outside the dorm and now Ray Hughes has gone missing. On January 17th, another video was uploaded to Bully 2 OSTs called The Walk of the Loser. Now, of course, not wanting to be jump scared again, I muted before I began watching because, yes, I am a coward and immediately scrub through the video to see if there's any kind of strange or weird hints in this video. And in classic Screamer fashion, there was a Screamer right at the end. There's actually a wanted poster for the supposed Bullworth killer and a bounty for $9,000. Now of course, I cannot tell if that's a GTA 9 reference or not because you know, the max bounty in that is $9,000. Also, how did I know it's a jump scare if I had the volume muted? Well, I downloaded the MP3 and you can clearly see it's a Screamer. Just as the song ends, it's all quiet for a few seconds when suddenly a full volume audio bank plays. There just comes a time when you can just tell this stuff is going to happen. So let's talk about this poster. First of all, I had to censor the phone number in this because of privacy reasons. Also because it's possible this phone number is a real number in Canada. At least after I looked up at least, because the area code is 411. Anyway, the picture provided in this poster doesn't appear to be one the person has nicked online, as a reverse Google search didn't bring any results. So we can assume this is an original photograph taken by the person behind the account. Our supposed killer is wearing what looks like a suit jacket, with a striped shirt underneath and possibly jeans with a Halloween mask. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. We can just barely make out the head on this person, though it's a bit dark, we can kind of see they have short dark hair. Now sadly I actually cannot think of anything else in this image that would be of interest because you know that's pretty much all we have to go off. Shortly after this video, Pete apparently found out Ray Hughes has been killed as the newspaper stated, as warrants and searches for the Bullworth Stalker, who has been terrorising Bullworth and murdering people goes on, more and more bodies are showing up. This time, a 15-year-old Bullworth student, Ray Hughes, was found murdered at 5am in Bullworth Academy's basement. All that was found was a severed head with a dirty sock in his mouth. The rest of his body is unknown. Now, as the Bullworth Stalker takes more and more lives at the Academy, the faculty at the Academy are ramping up looking for him. On January 18th, Pete tweeted that Jimmy has been spotted near Old Board Vale. Now knowing my creepypastas, either one of three things will happen. A. Jimmy is the killer. B. Pete finds Jimmy and Pete gets killed and the Bullworth Stalker takes the account over from here on out. Or C. Pete finds Jimmy's mutilated body. Now as I'm making this video, that is all that's happened, so let's get on to the conclusions. Personally, to step away from the ARG and give my own personal thoughts on the account, I think whoever runs this account definitely got inspired from my last Bully 2 video. You know, the one about the supposed audio leaks. And granted, this could be a coincidence, but the fact this guy claimed to be a Bully 2 soundtrack leaker not two days after my video about it went up strikes me that he was inspired by that. Especially since people who saw my video would probably go up searching for the leaked soundtrack for themselves, thus driving traffic to his channel and beginning the ARG. Now this actually does work, as when signed out, or even signed in, Simply searching for the Bully 2 League soundtrack comes up with a channel. Now it seems that whoever runs this account was trying to pull a massive bait and switch, but in my opinion they cashed their chips in way too early as they didn't give enough time for the creep factor to sink in. Now I want to know that upon seeing that Bullworth News video, I was a bit unnerved. 
Though I don't know if that's because of the video itself, the fact I wasn't expecting it, or the fact that I was like midnight and I was just sitting in a dark room. Or maybe a mix of them. Either way, I was legitimately creeped out, but upon seeing the account, I felt a tad disappointed and didn't feel unnerved as I did initially. Now, I feel that if the account kept the creepy stuff up for a while with a few more hints and some subliminal messages before pulling the ball with Stalker Twist, it would have been a hell of a lot creepier. I think the ball with Stalker Twist went a bit too quickly. Now, granted, it is cliche, but, you know, the creep factor would have lasted a hell of a lot longer, in my opinion. Now, do I think it's cliche? Yes. In fact, I do remember Rainbot mentioning in one of her videos that she often gets similar accounts on Twitter or something following her and trying really hard to get her attention by being as edgy and creepy as I possibly can. Also, please don't harass this guy. I know some people tend to have a bit of a dislike towards creepypasta-esque accounts, especially when they're being really cliche. I never condone harassing anybody like that. Now, if you do think this is all edgy, garbage creepypasta, fair enough. But please do not go and harass the person behind the accounts. I'm fairly certain whoever it is is just trying to have some fun. And once again, do not harass this person. Seriously. If you don't like it, just, well, no, ignore it. But let's try and take a look and see what we can solve with the mystery this guy is setting up. Now, first of all, let's look at a link between this guy's videos and his ARG. His various Bully 2 soundtrack mentions all kinds of new characters, these being Monty Oaks, Chuck, Pervy Perry, Libido Larry, Jason Wilkes, and a gothic clique that are all unnamed. Now, these characters have never been mentioned in any of Pete's tweets, so it's possible that these characters might make an appearance in one of Pete's future tweets or videos. Or not, it's entirely possible that users set this stuff up to try and grab himself an audience before pulling the bait and switch into the ARG. Since Bully 2 leaks are massive in the Bully fan base at the moment, while well, we wait for an official announcement. Both possibilities are likely. And if we actually take a look at the accounts, Happy Vaults gets mentioned a few times, as there is an apparent Happy Vaults soundtrack, and Ball of Noir also mentions the Asylum, which seems to imply this mystery might have something to do with the insane Asylum. As Ball of Noir mentions an escaped mental patient who thinks he's Sherlock Holmes. Now, as mentioned above, this could just be a case of the guy trying to rope in the leaks before pulling the mystery. As for what we do know, the person behind the account almost certainly has tried to stick really close to the Bullworth world. As mentioned, everyone from the ARG have all been characters from Bully. Now, the killer seems to have been ramping around Bullworth for a long time, killing over 8 students and wounding others. Now, personally, I'm expecting the cliche twist of the killer being either Pete, Jimmy, or most likely, Gary. Now, the reason I say that is because, curiously, Gary hasn't been mentioned anywhere in this, which only fuels my thought that Gary might be the killer. It just seems a bit in line with, you know, the usual, typical, cliche creepypasta stuff. And also, Gary's personality is, you know, quite psychotic, and he wants to inflict pain on others. There really isn't much to go off here, but seeing so many accounts pull the same stuff, I'm honestly just expecting this to be Gary. So that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, subscribe for more buddy based content, if you want to support me in a more personal manner, hit that join button, and I'll hope to see you all in the next video.